Hi, my name is Michael Chua, and I'm an ophthalmologist at the Puente Hills Eye Care Center. In this video, I'll be discussing cataracts, what they are, symptoms they cause, risk factors for developing them, treatment options for cataracts, and at the end of the video, I'll give you some lifestyle changes that you can make to prevent the progression of cataracts. Before we discuss what cataracts are, let's first review some basic eye anatomy. In the front of the eye is clear, transparent tissue called a cornea. Inside the eye is the lens, whose function is to focus incoming light onto the retina, which is the light-sensitive tissue in the back of the eye. The retina takes the light signals and sends it through the optic nerve to the visual cortex, allowing us to see. As we all get a little bit older, the proteins within the lens clump together, causing a clouding of the lens. This is a cataract. This cloudy lens causes incoming light to scatter within the eye, causing the visual symptoms that are typically associated with cataract. Patients with cataracts typically notice visual symptoms such as cloudy or blurry vision, decreased night vision, glares or halos, as well as increased sensitivity to light. The most common risk factors for the development of cataract include age, diabetes, smoking, exposure to sunlight or UV rays, trauma, or history of use of corticosteroid medication. Typically, when an eye doctor is evaluating a patient with a cataract, the first step is to perform a refraction to see if glasses would help the visual symptoms. If it's determined that glasses won't really help your vision, then cataract surgery is the definitive treatment option. I'll explain the details of cataract surgery in a future video, but briefly, cataract surgery entails taking out the lens in the cataract and replacing it with a clear new lens. So what are some lifestyle changes that you can make to prevent the progression of cataract? Like we mentioned before, Diabetes is one of the most common risk factors for the development of cataracts. So if you have a history of diabetes, I recommend close follow-up with your primary care doctor to ensure adequate control of blood sugars. If you happen to smoke, you're increasing your risk of developing early cataracts. So now is a good time as any to stop smoking. I also recommend using polarized UV blocking sunglasses whenever you're gonna be outside for a prolonged period of time. If you find this video helpful, please give us a like and feel free to share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from the information. If you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and you're interested in getting an eye exam or getting checked for cataracts, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to schedule an appointment. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care. Thanks for your attention.